our landing is a little more um, pinpoint at this area because uh, we need to land uh, very accurate. Tonight is all about the ability to utilize the full suite of Ninox Robotics ser potential services um, from disaster relief, search and rescue through to biosecurity and intelligence and proving those concepts up. So there are four key elements for Ninox Robotics tonight in this evening's test. Uh, the biggest one is the ability to go over a large flock of sheep. Within that flock of sheep are two guardian dogs we want to be able to differentiate using infrared and normal visual sight, uh, the ability to have a look at those two dogs and be able to distinguish them from the large flock they're protecting. The second thing we want to do is a bit of a search and rescue op or a mock one where there's a, a gentleman out in the woods um, in, in a bit of cover by himself. The third part is for the fireys. We intend to go over um, a, a pre-lit, safely lit flame um, and be able to use the infrared to search its heat source. And the final thing is a bit of a flyover of a certain area in a grid pattern to look for any potential wild dogs in a given area. Launch in three, two, one. This is the dog. Yeah. This is the dog. Okay, running, running. Okay. Running, and he makes the sheep run. Look, through the trees, I can still see him. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty hot. It is hot. Could be dense. It's moving slowly. It's not moving no, at all. There's a tree in front it's of It's not moving at all. This is something. That is something. For sure. Can we Look, do you see this? I reckon we've got it. Oh, we've got something. We're not in his area. No, no, this is in the woods. And oh, it's just it's standing there. They got okay, pigs? Copy. Going back? There was a, a, a hot shape um, spotted by the, uh, the drone. Um, then basically there was a, a grid reference which I punched into the GPS. Um, we headed out to the location. Uh, essentially just followed that GPS into the, into the point where it had been spotted. Um, once we got in a bit closer, spotted the, there was pigs hiding under a tree. Um, and then it was just a matter of sneaking in and uh, yeah, then the rifle come into action. So we've achieved all our objectives for tonight. And overall we've achieved our primary goal of proving that a military grade uh, drone is able to uh, deal effectively with invasives in Australia. Um, and add a potential new tool to um, our country's armory in dealing with this billion dollar problem. We had a number of boxes ticked. Uh, we prove to the Civil Aviation Safety Authority that we could do this safely, at least in the trial settings that they gave to us. But most importantly for what we set out to do, I'm confident that Ninox Robotics can take a number of very valuable services to Australian government and landholders in the agricultural space, in the search and rescue space, in the fiery space, and also um, in general biosecurity. So I, I think that we've achieved a number of really good firsts for Ninox Robotics and I think we can move forward to the next stages of our trial and onwards knowing that we've got a system that has been proven and that can work in this setting in a number of different ways.